know I'm going to get some serious heat for this. Hello, it's Jack from Phantasm and Paranormal. Now, as you know, on this channel, I like to debunk when I can, and I also like to debate. I like to criticize because I feel if anything that warrants debunking, criticism, or engaging in debate, I feel that it's a good thing to do that within the paranormal as you know for people who are very new to the paranormal maybe just starting in spirit communication so on maybe skeptics are like um so people can know just kind of what's what and if it warrants criticism or not because anything in the paranormal can be criticized and i've spoken about that uh, about that um kind of topic at length before on this channel but what i want to get into uh today is on the subject of Hope Paranormal and the new app which is brought out, now I will put uh, the video down in the comments below and I'll share it on the screen now, uh, just so you know where the, videos come, where the video comes from uh, if you want to look at it. So, what I am going to be, well, I suppose debunking here is the audio banks. Now, Josh, I'm afraid with this video you have said some pretty dishonest things some disingenuous stuff which i'm going to point out in this video is when it comes to stuff like this i don't just say stuff without having evidence to back it up so i'm going to share my evidence in a little while just so i can show you what's what's what, what's going on now josh i'm not attacking you okay i'm not attacking you as a person all right but i will be criticizing what you're doing and i will be criticizing what you're doing with this app aggressively okay so i'm not trying to bash you as a person because i don't know you as a person i go after what people are saying and what people are doing in the paranormal that's what i'm doing so you can call me a hater you can call me negative whatever but that's not going to discount my arguments it's not going to discount my criticism if you really want to debate or criticize with me then please in the comments let's have a debate let's have a chat let's have a talk if you have a counter argument then please present your counter argument as i would very much like to hear that as i want to engage in discussion as we need to speak about these things i've spoken about how apps cannot just be believed at face value for a great array of reasons and there's quite a few apps which have been debunked over time uh you have the famous one hope Par uh, huff paranormal sorry uh debunked when he was using the divination box and that was debunked this is kind of going to kind of be a similar video i'll play this segment as it is <coughs> how's this please <laughs> diane all right it's about you here watch this yeah let's say to see you after you now watch this 12 seconds in Welcome. Wait for it. Please come in. I can't tell you how pleased I am to see you. Busted. You also have a DPI, uh, which is just short for Dark Paranormal Investigator, who also debunked uh, the Miracle Box app, which Half Paranormal um, brought out. Here's the gibberish going in, so you can hear the audio. Okay, source so here's the audio that we're looking box. for. And you already heard some of what came out. But I'm going to show you the gibberish audio track, and then I'm going to show you more, much more, of what came through this session. All right, I'm about to show you guys why this is a miracle. For real. It's, it, for those saying this is not a miracle, it is a miracle, because I'm about to show you why. It's also going to show you why this is scientific proof. Scientific proof. And that no one on earth can deny this. No one can deny it. Or erase it away. Or, explain or erase it away. it away. This is the audio track going into my prototype miracle box. Alright, so here's the audio we're looking for. You heard what was coming out, and I'm about to show you a whole lot more. But this is the only audio going in. Okay, let's go. This is all gibberish. All gibberish, all 10 gibberish. minutes of gibberish, right? I'm gonna post this in the description below, link to it so you can okay. hear it for yourself, listen to the whole 10 minutes. Go ahead, try and debunk me, you can't. Anyways, this is the audio he supplied, so that's what we're going off of, and um, all I did was just reversed it, that's all I did. So now, uh, we're gonna play it, and according to Huff, um, should be, he said 100% gibberish, if I recall correctly. Oh, my dears, I don't have a recipe for you. I can't say do this or do that. That, 
that was a perfectly clear sentence that was not gibberish um so this audio file is not a hundred percent gibberish but we're just going to listen to Huff's audio one more time. Reverse, though. My dears, I have no to have a recipe. My dears, I have no to have a recipe for you. Oh, and that's exactly the same. Like, I don't... I don't think I really have to go through this entire audio thing to really prove that it's the same. Like, that's it right there. Like, I don't, I don't know what else to tell you. From what I hear, uh, especially when this relates to Josh, uh, for Josh, I do have sympathies there because I've heard, you know, whispers that um, from seeing the comments of your video that uh, you're saying that it's possible that Huff could have stolen uh, your idea or whatever. So, you know, obviously a crappy thing for you, I understand. But at the same time, when it comes to both your apps, you know, Huff's one's already been debunked. And... I'm going to go after yours, I'm afraid, you, just because I hate when things aren't crystal clear in the paranormal, as we have so very few answers, but I want to put this out there just so people know what's what and what it isn't. And debunking these kind of things is not hard, it's not difficult, anybody can do it, and I'm going to explain how you can do it. So let me explain about the HSB-1 app. Uh, so this app has a lot of different uh, audio banks, has a few different audio banks you can choose from that supposedly spirits can manipulate, uh, even though that's not proven that that happens. And also Josh claims this. These are all wordless sound banks. There's no words. Except the whole no words, that's definitely not true. Now you haven't come out and outright stated that this is gibberish, although you're really heavily implying by your past few videos that you are implying that it is gibberish, but if it's true gibberish, gibberish should be both forwards and backwards. So with the gibberish audio, it has to be both forwards and backwards, you know, so it's unintelligible no matter which way you want to spin it, which way you want to reverse it, whatever, because it hopefully would remove that false positive. And I spoke about reversed audio. There are, people put videos in reverse just to remove false positives. No, if anything, it creates bloody more of them. And I've spoken about the whole reverse audio thing at length, and I'm not going to go into it again as it will take me probably about another 20 minutes to explain it. Um, so with this... I'm just going to show you a few examples of what the audio sounds like on the woman, uh, woman audio bank on this app. And then I'm going to show right next to it what it actually is and where the video comes from. He really emphasizing goodness. He really emphasizing goodness. He really emphasizing goodness be really emphasizing goodness be really emphasizing goodness say the journal for I meet the say reminiscent of the eyes lifting the outer corners of the eyes read through the eyes lifting the outer corners of the eyes Red of the eyes, lifting the outer corners of the eyes. Flash for your thoughts. Memo I'm sitting at our stage right in this moment to offer yourself. It's right in this moment to offer yourself. It's right in this moment to offer yourself. It's right in this moment to offer yourself. So. There you have it. The audio comes from Tyra Brack. So it's a meditation video and you can, I'll put the meditation video down below just so if you still are not convinced, then you can go to that YouTube video. You can screen record the audio or like record the audio from Josh's app and you can reverse it yourself, compare it against the original video. Anybody can do this. Anybody can do it. You know, I did it. It took me a while to find the original audio, but I did find it. So by you saying, Josh, that it's, um, you know, there's no words or anything in this app is outrightly false as there is. There shouldn't be words forwards or in reverse. All you have to do, just re-reverse the audio. Bam, you got forward speech. I don't really know what else you want me to say. I don't know what else you want me to tell you. Now, I know that you're going to probably 
go, oh, well, you didn't debunk like my uh, two-pack video. You not didn't debunk my other one. I'm not sure if you used the same app in the, your Robin Williams video. But um, first off, you can't prove two-packs talking because there's no proof that we, c we can't confirm who exactly is talking. And plus, you've been the paranormal long enough. You already know that. You know this. But yet you still put that out there anyway, even though you know it's not true. Or we don't know if it's true, I should say. So, and you may be saying with the reverb, like, because reverb isn't truly 100% necessary, you have it cranked up so far that forwards and backwards, you cannot tell what is coming out. So really, what does that show? It shows you can, that it is possible to make your own narrative, that out of that garbled, gooey mess, because you've got the reverb turned up so high, you can't distinguish from forwards and re-reversed audio what's being said. Because if you want to confirm or debunk if you've got an original, uh, if you've got a true capture or not of a spirit, then if the audio manipulation theory is true, then surely when you re-reverse the audio, something should be slightly different there. Or in forwards maybe, but if it comes out the same every single time, you think you've got a response, compare it against the original audio, so re-reverse it. If it sounds exactly the same, then how can that be spirit manipulation? I.e. it's not. With the reverb being turned up so high, like I said, you can form your own narrative. You can make whatever you want out of that garbled mess. Cover the subtitles. See what you really hear. People do that on my videos, and I appreciate them doing that because sometimes they hear something different. I appreciate that they do that. There's nothing wrong with that. So, with the reverb being turned up so high in that garbled, gooey mess, like I said, you can't compare it against the original audio, even if you know it's reversed forwards or in reverse you can't tell anything that's being said so it allows you to form that false narrative you can create whatever you want because you can't compare against the original audio because it's such a garbled gooey mess so my challenge to you josh and my challenge to everybody who believes in this app or has used this app use it without reverb and use it without reverb reverse the audio and compare it against that original audio that's how you can pretty debunk or prove you got an original capture you are true capture or not and even i am still working on finding the other audio banks as i'm pretty sure that if you're using other p if you're using other people's um, meditations to put in that audio bank you're most likely doing the same for the others as well but if you're going to say that there's no words or sentences or anything within an app actually mean it forwards and reverse you shouldn't be able to hear anything you shouldn't be able to hear any words but the fact that it's just reverse audio and it's not gibberish at all is really disingenuous and false now josh i'm sure you're a nice guy dude i'm sure you are a nice guy i'm not trying to bash you as a person all right but i'm bashing the way you go about things okay and like i said call me a hater call me whatever you want i don't really care i'm here to make friends so that's it the only way to really um show if you have a genuine capture or not is just to do the things which i said it's not hard it's not difficult anybody can do it anybody can do what i did just took a bit of searching on the internet that was it so huff has been debunked and i'm sure this app's going the same way and i've shown you my examples i can't don't really know what to say so what i'm saying to everybody don't believe everything you say at face value because you don't know if somebody could be fibbing or not okay so i'll see you in the next video later